Hi, welcome to this latest episode of Lightboard Lessons. And today we're going to talk about the life of a packet. Now we've done this before with Whiteboard Wednesdays. We're going to reshoot because we actually have an update effective in 12.1 that we'll talk about. But so we're going to start. Let's start with the packet actually coming into the box, and that's where your interface is going to hit your interface and come in. And the very first thing it's going to do if you have hardware is it's going to hit your packet velocity A6. And at a hardware level, it's going to take a look at um, a couple different things. So we have first your L2 through L4 DOS vectors. And then we also have uh, some IP intelligence. And then we have the hardware acceleration. Okay? And so if in the event we're going to start a, a box down here, this is where drops and resets are going to occur as we work our way through. And so, you know, if we have a drop, we're going to come down here and we're going to reset. And then, of course, if IP intelligence flags something there, that will also be um, a drop from in here. Now, if we have a hardware acceleration, that is actually going to go all the way over to the other end of our diagram here. And we're going to drop that. Let me do that in green so we can track the forward progress here. Um, but we're going to drop all the way over there to IO and uh, and then and then back onto uh, the server. But if there isn't anything else that the ASIC can take a look at, then it's going to drop down to layer two. And in layer two, this is where we're going to have the stateless packet filters. filters and then we also have our flow lookups okay and obviously if the stateless packet filters catch anything then we're going to join that bus over to a drop and a reset at the flow lookup point we're actually going to come take a look at the flow table And so this isn't really an active path. That is just um, kind of a control plane thing. And that's going to do a query. And then it's going to respond, yay or nay, on an existing flow. Okay. If there is an existing flow, then we will come up here to the HUD chain. And so this is like for all the modules on big IP, LTM, ASM, you know, DTM or uh, APM, DTM, which is now the uh, uh, FI DNS. But we will then, because we have an active flow, come right up here um, to, because we have our flow input here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pass that from the flow lookup to here. And then the flow will work its way through the HUD chain, and then we'll cover the rest when we, when we get there. But then if there isn't a match uh, for an existing flow, then we're going to come down to layer 3. And by the way, uh, TCB dumps, when you initiate those from your big IP, those happen here in L2. And also over here, we've got... L2 before it passes on, L3, uh, TCP dump is here as well. So client side, server side. This is a server side TCP dump. This would be the client side TCP dump. Okay? And then we uh, go through level three or layer three, and then we come down, uh, and I'm going to leave some space because we'll talk about that update here in a little bit. Um, we have our 
L2 through L4, DOS. And we have that up here, but again, this is hardware. You don't have a hardware box, or you do have a hardware box, but there's other software things that have not yet been incorporated into the hardware. Uh, it's another opportunity for us to take a look at the um, DOS vectors on the software side. And so if those find a, a match in any of those heuristics, uh, we'll drop down. Otherwise, from this point, we're going to go on to a listener lookup. And so listener lookup. Okay. And at this point, remember that that big IP without a listener, it's not going to pass any traffic. You could have all the routes in the world, but it's a default denied box. No listeners, no, no traffic. Um, at least no traffic through the box. Traffic obviously will hit the box, but will not flow through unless there's a listener match. And so short of a match, it's going to get dropped. Then if you have AFM, here's kind of where some of the AFM stuff happens. So if we draw a little AFM box, around some of this, then for AFM specific, we have the, oh, wrong marker. We have the global context, and then we have route domains, and then uh, we have the virtual server. So virtual servers, obviously, they fit kind of inside AFM and outside. If you don't have AFM, the virtual server process in this still applies. Um, but I'll draw that kind of inside and outside the box because it does have a role to play uh, if you have AFM specifically. And so uh, that's a little AFM box here. So the update here is that within the global context, before 12.1, you had IP intelligence here. So so IP Intel sat there before, so this is uh, uh, less than 12.1, you have IP intelligence here. But beginning in 12.1, IP intelligence actually moves over here. And the reason that that is a great update is because we can protect the L2 through L4 software DOS by inserting in the IP Intel before that. So it eliminates uh, the need for the L2 through L4 DOS to do all of the heavy lifting if IP Intel is going to block it anyway. So now we move that in front of that. So again, this is 12.1 uh, plus, and this is uh, before 12.1 on the IP intelligence. And of course, we have the network firewall. Let me draw that sideways. Net firewall. And then we have those same two blocks for uh, the virtual server as well. So IP intelligence remains here in all versions. And then your net firewall IP intel. Net firewall. Okay, so in this case we have an accept from the listener and we're going to feed over to the global context. If there is a match in here, then you know that'll uh, be a discard and you know discard here, discard there. But assuming we make our way through this stack to the VIP at this point we're going to go into flow accept and we'll go ahead and create that flow. And now in our out of band, we're gonna go ahead and populate the flow table with that flow so the next time through, then it knows that, hey, I've got a good flow and, and I'm good to go. Um, the, the other thing with uh, flow accept is it gets to this state if with SSL 
you are uh, exceeding your license. At this point, you know, you're going to drop down here and be reset. And so uh, flow is accepted. So we come again up to this flow input, which then it goes through the HUD chain. And, you know, if we draw with the HUD chain, if we draw our proxy, kind of, so this is client side, server side of the proxy, right? So flow input, we go climb the ladder uh, through our layers and all the different profiles that you might have established with the HUD chain. So we're gonna go up through, um, we come back down, and then out through the HUD chain. And so then this comes over here, layer three, layer two, interfaces, and out. So, uh, you know, the, the real big update uh, is more for AFM, but uh, I was excited to be able to draw this on the light board instead of having to go back and forth with the whiteboard. So one of the thing I'll mention before, uh, before we really finish this video is that we do have up here our L7 DOS. And so in the event we uh, flag anything there, um, we're obviously not gonna pass that to the back end. We're gonna drop this down and, and reset that traffic or handle it appropriately as expected. So wanted to add that little addendum that I forgot. And uh, again, have a great day.